honestly, like if I went back on Saturday to the VA again, I think I wouldn't be here right now. Our top story tonight, a former service member battling a life-threatening illness. She says her decision not to return to Tripler Army Medical Center may have saved her life. Teresa Cabrera is a veteran, a lawyer, and a single mom. When she fell ill last week, she went to Tripler to figure out what was wrong two times. Desperate for a diagnosis, she finally got help somewhere else. Joe Beth Tavares here with the interview. Joe Beth. Yeah, Kiyaki Steph, it's an interview that almost never happened. The single mom spoke to us just hours after being released from the intensive care unit at Queens, West Oahu. I had a um, blood infection. My heart rate was really high and my blood pressure was really low. 35-year-old Teresa Cabrera has spent the last four days in a hospital bed, undergoing tests, blood draws and saline flushes. She says it's treatment she needed but didn't get when she sought help at Tripler Army Medical Hospital twice last week. I was like sweating profusely. Well, you know, I was in like 10 out of 10 pain. I tried to tell them, I was like, oh, I have a kidney, a, a kidney infection. And, you know, this, and I had this fever for, and they were like, wait, wait. And then the guys, the triage guy stopped me. He's like, wait, I don't want to hear about it. I want to hear about why you're here now. He just looked annoyed, like he didn't want me to like be there. I was bothering him. The Navy veteran, now a deputy city prosecutor, left Tripler Hospital Thursday with few answers. They gave me this, these antibiotics and then sent me home. And I um, and I was like, oh, what about my ears? She was like, oh, I don't know. Her symptoms worsened, so she returned on Friday. She waited three hours to be seen in the ER, only to be sent home again with a 103 degree fever. They gave me Sudafed and that was it. And they like kind of sent me home. The next day, Cabrera says the pain was unbearable. I honestly felt like I was going to die. Fed up with Tripler, she went to the ER at Queens Medical Center, West Oahu. I got seen right away. They took lots of blood samples and x-rays and uh, CT scans and everything. Like They were like addressing what I would like my complaints about. The diagnosis, sepsis and kidney failure. She was immediately sent to the ICU. Cabrera is feeling much better now. No word on when she'll be discharged, but she's looking forward to being home again with her 10-year-old son. I'm going to sign up for HMSA, and I'm never going to like use a military facility again. Cabrera says she will have to pay out of pocket for medical bills, so a fundraising page has been set up. Our calls today to Tripler Hospital were not immediately returned. For Hawaii News Now, I'm Joe Beth Devera.